remember the first time my dad, I did any kind of lift maintenance, my dad dropped me off on top of the dream lift with a bucket with rags in it and a grease gun and said, work your way to the bottom. Climbed a big tower and we had no walkways. I mean, not a hint of fall protection, obviously. I remember I was shaking. I was sitting out there and my dad's gone. He said, see you at the bottom. And that's kind of the school of hard knocks here at Beaver Mountain. <laughs> We are the longest continuously family-owned ski area in the United States. My in-laws started Beaver Mountain in 1939, and so we're third generation and we're still completely family-owned. Anybody that skis up here, it doesn't matter who it is. They could be skiing here for the very first time and they want to come back. Just the feel here is so special. It's obviously ran by a family that's dearly loved. And so I think everybody feels a special interest in you know, keeping this place the way that they have always remembered it to be. The ski industry has changed rapidly in the last five to seven years and this era where, you know, the mom and ski areas are, are kind of going away, I'm sure we could charge more money here. I'm sure we could do a lot of things that I just don't see us doing. You know, so many resorts, most of the resorts now, and they're so big and so crowded and I, I feel like people aren't individuals anymore. They, the individual person isn't quite as important, and I hope that our guests still feel like they're important. While I'm here, I really feel kind of the sense of care that the family um, that runs Beaver here has for everybody that comes. You can do all the things you can't do at a big resort, and that's what makes this place so special. So you come here and you make friends, you make family, and overall you're just a part of the community. It's definitely a family affair. I think that Travis, the vision that his dad had, the vision that his grandpa had, he carries that and it's very close to his heart and I know it is. You know, any business owner I think will tell you in a family business, I mean, you're never not thinking about work at some point. But I think that's what has kind of made us successful. I think that's that's really the payoff is just seeing somebody really enjoy what you've done and try to make nice and we love to ski so we think we hopefully we have a handle on what makes a good experience.